the ChatGPT, the Gemini, or the DeepSeek AI? Which one is the best and which one should you use as an assistant of artificial intelligence? So I'm going to show you today what are these AI tools. So first, quickly go into each AI tool and what do they actually do. So one of the most popular AI chatbots is the ChatGPT. This is known for its human-like responses and coding capabilities, and this is like daily, daily basis information that everybody uses. The next one is an artificial intelligence created by Google. This one is Gemini. So this is next-gen AI that integrates directly with Google Search and offers real-time data and insights. This is one of the greatest tools of the Gemini. If you want to look out for something that is specific for uh, looking out into Google, Gemini is the best solution to try it out. And lastly, we have the Deep Seek AI. The Deep Seek is a new, completely free AI alternative that competes directly with the ChatGPT because this one, uh, this part with the, the ChatGPT, this is directly for free. So, which one performs the best? Let's compare. So, first of all, what I need to do is to talk about the speed test. Which AI is the fastest? So, speed is crucial when using the AI tools. So, I'm going to be asking. Um, all the three AI models the same questions. So I'm gonna try out first of all with ChatGPT. Let's go all the way down and let's ask Sumer the latest iPhone 17 rumors in 50 words. So let's go. One, two, three. We have three seconds for ChatGPT. Now with Dipsic, I'm gonna try something else. One, two, three, four. Five, six, a little bit, almost uh, a little bit more than five seconds. And lastly, with the Gemini, one, two, three. So we have three seconds, a little bit more than three seconds from the chat DVD. Now, what are a little bit about the responses? This is the second scene, the accuracy test, which AI gives the best answers. So speed is great, but the accuracy matters even more. So, um, for example, here have the rumor suggest the iPhone 17 layout may include new Air model with an ultra thin design and focus of being thin as iPhone yet. And here, the iPhone rumors suggest a sleeker design, uh, 20 hertz per mo display. More information we have here into DeepSeek. And here into ChatGPT, recent iPhone rumors suggest a thin design, possible around 6 me. A little bit just related into DeepSeek, but DeepSeek has more information than ChatGPT. And Gemini has, let's say, less info. Now, if I ask something different that is not speaking about tech, for example, let's go for explain. And let's check out the answers for all of them. So here in the Gemini, it says Bitcoin is a digital gold, mainly used for buying and selling or holding an investment. Ether is more like a digital toolbox. Now in the Dipseek, we have something so much more an explanation, but I asked for some simple terms. So this is not exactly what I was looking for, but still the Dipseek gave me more uh, information here. And lastly here, the chat GPT gave me uh, basically what I was looking for, like the difference between Ether at the Bitcoin. So here's the information of the Bitcoin, here's information of the Ether and the insured Bitcoin for money and the Ether is for building decentralized project and applications. So I think the ChatGPT has the more great information here. And lastly, the pricing and comparison. Now which is AI best deal? So I am using here the ChatGPT totally for free, but still we have it now the plus, the plus version. The plus version comes with $20 per month for the ChatGPT number four. And we have an extended limits, we have access to advanced voices, we have limited access opportunities for testing, creating use projects, and limited access to the Sawyer Beat generation. Now, meanwhile, here into the Gemini, we have a advanced Gemini tool that gives you 395 months after, which I think is a little bit more than the $20, or a little bit less actually. And we have um, more generation model, priority access, experience a million token, uh, access including of course within actually subscription with Google One and more storage. And lastly, the Dipseek AI, which I think this one actually is a real winner because Dipseek is totally for free. Now, 
which one is the best? I can tell you that if you want to use ChatGPT, this is the best AI for writing and coding and really creative tasks. I believe that the Chamonix can be more perfect for real-time research and the Google directly using Google and the DeepSeek. If you wanted to have a free alternative that still perform well and give you more information, the DeepSeek is not going to be costing you even a pen. So which AI are you using in 2025th? Let me know in the comments below. And if you find this comparison helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more AI reviews, and hopefully we can all see you in the brand new section of TechQuest. See you guys next time.